All right, you old bastard. I can't just leave you there. Come on. It will be quiet around here with Marlo gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. Oh, you know what? I got just the thing. That's right! I had forgotten all about it! I'll give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know! You shall have the staff I used when I was Marlo's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it! Yay! We got the froggy stick. And with that... We can finally equip a weapon onto Mario. The nook nook shell, because now Malo has the froggy stick. It, I mean, it's only fair... It was only fair that we, uh... That we hold off on giving Mario a, an equip item while Malo didn't have a weapon. Yeah, that's why I meant to say weapon. Alright, cool. So la mi re do re do re. So yeah, so let's, let's remember that. So la mi re do re do re. Because we're gonna need it right now, buddy. Alright, so this is Melody Bay. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. So, um, unfortunately, I don't remember exactly where I'm supposed to go here, so I am the composer, Turovsky. I am trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. You want a music lesson from moi? Yes. Let's start by reading notes. See the five lines. Between the second and third from the top lies Do. Keep going up and the notes are Do, Re, Mi. Go down and you'll get Do, Ti, La, So, Fa. Re, Mi. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa. You're on your way to composing. So yes, we can actually compose musics here. Musics. And I re I remember it was so la mi re do re do re. Uh, let me just do this one more time, so I can get a good idea of where it is. So and uh, so so. Bop, bop, bop. Whoops. I already messed up. I went one too early. Ah! Oh no, it's all gone down. How, how's it sound, Tudhovsky? How's that? La, me, 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 me. <laughs> Perfect! Is that something you composed? No, that, no, that's not right. No, what was that? That was awful. That was awful. <laughs> okay. Alright. I have more time than, uh... I uh, recalled so la mi re do re do and re bam there we go hey that's it that is the melody I've been looking for! Thank you for the inspiration! Please take this as a token of my gratitude. We received an alto card. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. Ah, yeah! So, that's Todovsky. He will be, uh... He will be providing us with, uh, more entertainment in the same fashion where he is going to continue needing more and more and more melodies for uh, from us over the course of the game. And uh, this guy kind of helps. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Tudovsky. Can't wait to graduate from music school and start composing. So uh, if we come back and talk to this uh, tadpole in the future, he will give us some information on what Tudovsky is looking for in his next melody. Now, his next melody will not be available for a little while, so we don't need to think about that. So, welcome to the Juice Bar. Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Ah, an alto card holder. What would you like? So, now that we have that alto card, we can buy froggy drinks and elixirs as, um, 
as we desire. So, as you can see, party recovers 30 HP, party recovers 80 HP. Both very nice items. I'm not going to buy either one right now, because I don't really think I need to. And this is the Frog Coin Emporium. Listen up, the green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them, and you can buy items at Tadpole Pine. So... We can buy Sleepy Bomb, which puts all enemies to sleep, a Bracer, which raises allies' defense, Energizer, which raises allies' attack, Crystalline, which raises the entire party's defense, or the Power Blast, which raises the entire party's attack. All of which are available. Unfortunately, I don't really have much need for any of them. In the meantime, let's sell some weapons. We're not going to need the Hammer. Uh, antidote and Wake Up Pin, we'll just keep them for now. Maybe we'll need them in the future. Some items, uh... We're going to sell some mushrooms. We're not going to need quite so many. Pure water, don't really need. Bada bing, bada bam. And we'll keep... Obviously, we're keeping the Caro Caro Cola. We'll keep the five pick-me-ups. And uh, the honey syrups are fine. All right, cool. With that, we've done a little bit of inventory management. Let's get this show on the road. Specifically, the Rose Way. That is our next area to get to. As we are heading towards Rosetown. You can't jump on or off the when the block is blue. Try jumping when the block turns yellow. So these blocks kind of move automatically forward and backward and whatnot. And we can only move between them when the block is yellow. Very simple. And be sure to stay on this one for one extra round because we can get to that flower you saw there. So Star Slap is a new enemy along with the Shy Guy. Classic Shy Guy. The uh, timing for the timed hit when it comes to the knock-knock shell is right as Mario is kicking the shell at the enemy. And the froggy stick is just as the frog stick comes down. Those are your timings for the, uh, the attacks on these weapons. Very nice, very simple. So we get that flower. We're going to go run over onto here and go up here. Because there is an item that we can get over here. First things first, we gotta clear the enemies out, so let's jump on this Shy Guy. So something, there's something very uh, special about Mario's jump attack, and that is that the more times you use Mario's jump attack, the stronger it gets over time, which is actually a hidden stat in the game. And uh, every time you use jump, Mario's jump becomes just a little stronger each time. So uh, up to a total of, what is it, like... 200 or 400, 250 or 400 uses. It's one of those. Um, where Mario's jump becomes just obscenely strong. So we're going to be using Mario's jump quite a lot through our playthrough, as we want Mario's jump to be as strong as possible. Oh, that's bad timing. That was so terrible timing for the star slap attack. The star slap attack! So we want to you know, take take a little bit of extra time, do some extra jump attacks. Now these uh, these blocks are pretty interesting. Uh, isometric view kind of makes it hard, but you can unsync them like that, and it becomes even harder. Like this, <laughs> as you can see, this is not optimal. Come on, we gotta resync them up a little bit. They're as unsynced as can be. There we go, that's close enough. Oop. Alright. See, it's making the transfer that's a little hard. Come on now, dummy. Get up on there. I got knocked off by the uh, the plant. Plant hitbox. There we go, it's a frog coin. It's very worth getting that. Frog coins are pretty valuable. We'll see later in the game exactly what they're worth. Oh, whoops, I went on the wrong one. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so these are bandits. We're going to go ahead and jump on his head and get a fight with them. Ow. Ow, those guys hurt. Anyway, Crook is his name. So the fun thing about Crooks is they're very, very, very fast. They tend to run away a lot. And um, the good thing about them is that when you beat them, you get a fair bit of coinage from them. Each crook is worth, I think, 10 coins? Which is nice. And a decent bit of experience. Mala reaches level 6. Mala learns Psychopath. 
Uh, attack, yeah. Look at that. Attack increase. Attack to 36 from 33. That's huge. <laughs> Look at him just dangling the shy guy. Hey, Lakitu. Nice shy guy. Nice shy guy, Lakitu. You gonna run? Oh, they both ran away. That's unfortunate. In addition to being worth uh, 10 coins for each crook that you defeat, they can drop items for you. Which is pretty darn cool. Okay, so uh, these shy guys will get knocked off the second that you jump into these uh, chests. And then you get, get to fight them. So Snapdragon is another new enemy. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything. So, interesting thing, Psychopath. What Psychopath does is it scans the enemy, and it will tell you the basic stats of them, like how much HP they have, how much FP they have, and if you time it right with Psychopath, you also get a nice little, uh, a bonus with it, where it'll tell you the thoughts that the enemy has. It also tells you, like, weaknesses and stuff, so it's it's a pretty useful move if you want some information on the enemy, and you don't necessarily know what you're doing. Look at that timing. Zero damage, like a king. Don't worry. We will transfer from king to god soon enough. Yay, Mario reaches level six. Mario, learn super jump. Super jump. Oh, boy. Super jump is the best spell in the game. Period. Anyway, we're a little low on flowers, so let's go ahead and pop this flower jar. We gain three more permanent total flowers, and we refill our FP. How nice is that? It's kind of broken. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to keep increasing power of jump. Obviously. Nice. Malo can actually kill the star. Ooh, poison. Damn. There's no uh, blocking the poison. Arachne. Arachne's actually a pretty strong enemy overall. It's not weak whatsoever. Yo, 18 coins for that battle. Nice. Okay, we don't necessarily need to have a battle against all these shy guys. Oh, that was a heal. Darn. I was really hoping that would be more coins. I thought the final one was a heal. That's my bad. Well, we're going to jump on this lone Shy Guy's head, because he's the last one left. Look at that, we're one-shotting Shy Guys really hard with jump. Nice. Ah ha ha ha! So yeah, you actually don't have to fight any of them. And it's really- up. Oh, Malo, come here! Hey! It's Bow Wow! It's King Koopa! It's, uh, it's Smelly Guy. Alright, people, form ranks. Attention, shelled warriors. Hooded sorcerers. And last but not least, Groundling Goombas. The hell was that, Goomba? What was that attack? <laughs> this is our finest moment. The Koopa Troop is invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double! And they snaps his finger. Well. Clearly Bowser has uh, been sent flung from his keep as well. Bowser and his troops must be on their way to Bowser's keep. Come on, Rose Town is just up ahead. Well. It's quite obvious that uh, Bowser has business at his keep. Much like uh, we kind of do. What? Uh, dude, you okay? See? Arrows come flying out from the forest, and when you're hit, you can't move. See? Look. I can't move a muscle. Now I know how a scarecrow feels. Well, uh... Well, this, uh, this seems to be something that will require our attention on the next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to tune in next time while we figure out what the hell is going on in Rosetown. Seems like a job for Garmfee. See you next time, guys!